See, that is why Reservoir Burst is so cool. Little explosions like that. I mean, oh my gosh, look at all that damage. Absolutely freaking incredible. And it's amplified too. Like, it's not just that it creates the explosion, but that first shot is given a nice damage boost just to make sure that it actually goes off. And it's really wonderful to have. What is up, my Squirtle Lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back tomorrow. Let's play Destiny. Last episode with the campaign finished, we began basically just meandering about the moon, taking care of all sorts of miscellaneous stuff. Now we are here at the end of the K1 Revelation. Is it, is it Revelation? Yeah, Revelation Lost Sector. And we need to put in the Firewall Data Fragments. I completed all the Lost Sectors off screen. I have myself this right here, the Firewall Data Fragment. We're going to put it in and open up this door. So we may continue. So let's head on inside, and all you're going to want to do is walk up to this thing and process the da data fragments. We get the memory of Saimoda. Search for scraps of Saimoda's like lessons by defeating nightmares on the moon with arc abilities. Stronger combatants grant more progress. Now, we also get an essence of jealousy out of that, and it is fully completed, so we can go and turn that in back at Sanctuary. But after all this is done, we are going to be heading off to Sorrow's Harbor and talking about the new activity that we can actually do there, because that is going to be relevant to the quest that we're currently on. So we need to get 20 nightmare kills with arc abilities. Well, let me tell you the best way to do that is in this activity. Now, really quickly, I'm going to go into the Lectern of Enchantment, turn this one in. I think I've only got the one done. But you can see here now I've unlocked Essence of Vanity, Brutality, Failure, and Jealousy just from completing all of these. The one we just did got us a sword, although the sword we just got is pretty terrible. I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm actually going to grab that bounty as well because that's going to actually be very, very helpful to us. So is that one. We can get those to work on those with more phantasmal cores. But the thing is about these essences, you can only hold one at a time, so that's kind of the one major downside. Now, if I take a look at these really quickly, I have uh, three of them. So, Essence of Vanity. I need activities completed. Sniper kills. I don't even have a sniper on me at the moment, so I can't work on that. Essence of Failure. Just need some auto-rifle kills. I'm very close to being done. And then this one is done, except for I need the Necromantic Strand, the Captive Cord, and the Horned Wreath, which are all in different locations. So, this one's in the Lunar Battlegrounds. This one is in the Hall of Wisdom. And this one is in the Chamber of Night. So, we're going to have to go and hunt all of those down. And I will be showing the locations for every single one of those as we go. But let's head off to Sorrow's Harbor for the time being. And I'm actually going to pull out my auto rifle for this exact reason. Put that away. Let me also check my bounties here really quickly just to see what I need. Rocket launcher, grenade launcher. Ooh, let's see. Sniper, sniper. Yeah, I guess it really doesn't matter what I pick here. So I might as well just stay on the fusion. Uh, the fusion rifle I'm on. Like I said, this sword is kind of terrible, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. Let's head on over here and let's get this thing done. So, it's probably going to end too. It looks like they're about to fail here. Uh, three, two, yeah, he's definitely going to fail. So this is going to actually restart on us, I do believe. Just just kind of let it. I mean, well, I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we can salvage this. Maybe we can salvage this if we actually kill some enemies. So the way that uh, Altars of Sorrow works, okay? And as I kill some enemies here. Every time you kill, if I can shoot these things, every time you kill an enemy, you get a little bit of an add-on to your timer. And I'm actually going to do that because then I can get some more seconds to go off, kill him. There's a few necklace scraps. You can see we get a lot more than just 20 for that. We get a whole total of three, which is good. Uh, we're, we're basically making the timer go up by killing everything in Altars of Sorrow. So make sure that you are vigilant in the way you kill things and also things are going to teleport around you because of course they are let me launch a few things in there we did not do that with arc abilities so that's not going to count towards progress but we were able to keep the timer up which is good and then fire a, gren a grenade launcher shot over there basically yeah we just need to keep all of these enemies from making it over to that spot over there especially the nightmares because if they make it there they will actually take a huge heap of time off of our timer so almost got him. All right, here. I'm going to throw a grenade there. That's going to miss, so I'm not going to get the that because he freaking blocked me. 
Oh, all right, so I'm gonna probably need to get combinations blows going. So let's head up to the next altar of sorrow. So you need to get through seven waves to be able to finish the altar of sorrow. And the very last wave is gonna have a boss, but each of these waves gets progressively harder than the last. The first two waves are gonna just have you killing enemies. The the rest of the waves up through six are gonna be a bit more complicated than that. And it will start with this one so I can show how this works. So we don't need to be here. We actually need to be down here. That is where we need to stop the enemies from coming from. So. Let's begin. You start with a minute as your base timer, which is good. Let's do that. I am probably not going to be able to... Are you really going to shoot me? Hold on. Let me do that. <clears throat> Get some combination blow melees in here. I don't think that one counted, but that's okay. We're going we're gonna to get combination blow going with this as I continue to melee stuff. So let's do that. There we go. Okay, come on. Keep hitting them. Keep hitting them. Keep hitting them. Now I get some more heavy out of that. Did that one not count? Doesn't look like it did. I might just have to rely on my supers for this. Possibly. That's okay if I do. Be careful not to step into the green itself. That's actually bad. It can make your ability energy go down. Come on, keep hitting them. Maybe I can get it. There we go. Got some more necklace scraps done. Almost there. We've got them at three of six. Keep doing damage. This time I am going to super him. So quickly kill him, super. Thank you. Get more necklace scraps out of that. All right, now we need to kill two wizards, but we need to do this with swords. These knights right here, sword bearers, are going to spawn. You need to kill them and take their sword off of them. Then you can actually start to do damage to the wizards. So if you head up here and hit them a few times, like so, kill them that way. Just make sure to try to conserve your... If, well, I was going to try to conserve my ammo, but it looks like I'm going to run out here before I even get over to this wizard. I think he'll take care of it for me, though, so we're good. So, on this phase, only two wizards spawn. In future phases, it's not going to be so simple. There's going to be a lot more of them that are going to start spawning in, so we need to be able to take care of all of them. And right now, with just the two of us, I imagine this isn't going to be super simple, so hopefully we can get more people to spawn in here. The problem is... Yeah, okay, that's going to be a little bit of an issue, though. So the Lost Sector down that way is currently the Lost Sector of the day for soloing, which means that a lot of people that are in this area have no interest in Altars of Sorrow, which means that that's going to make doing this a little bit more difficult. But we'll see if we can get more people to join us in due time. But let's head off to the next altar. And maybe just the two of us can handle this. It'll be tough. It'll be really tough, especially when we get to the final phase. But it is, I think, doable. I just have to be very, very vigilant here. Because you can't let any of the nightmares make it to the end. Otherwise, you are screwed. So it's either going to go on that side or this side. I honestly don't know which way just yet. It looks like it's the one behind us. Okay. Let's head on over. Got explosive light active for that increased radius. Let's start getting combination blow going. There we go. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep killing. Th oh, don't push me into that. Oh, that hurts really bad. That's not what I wanted. Hold on. Hold on. Get that going. That's going to blow me up. Gosh, freaking dang it. That was dumb. That was really, really dumb. Okay. I I luckily, we actually have help here. It looks like, okay, another a third has arrived. So we, we should be in a little bit better shape now. Yeah. See, I would be a lot more confident with this if I was on my main with this character. I don't know. I mean, abilities are still really strong at the moment in the game. So it's not too big of an issue. Kill, kill this Acolyte here. Keep getting combination blow going. There we go. Oh, I think I got him. Nope, that did not count on my part. That's okay. We got it up to th times three now, which is good. So once this one steps out, hit him. You know, really quickly, can I hit him with that? Perfect. Come on, kill him. Perfect. There's more necklace scraps. I think we're up to 12 now. And I want to get that. keep that timer going. So keep hitting the way. Oh, where are you going? Get back here. There we go. There we go. Now we have more wizards to spawn, but now they've spawned in two locations, which is going to make this a little bit more difficult. So let's start killing these sword bearers. Hurry on up this way. Kill this one first. I'm just going to do the regular slams because they're the most efficient. Maybe I can get over to this wizard in time to do the damage necessary. Nope, he's already there, so it's not a huge deal. Let's head on over to the area, other area where Spitfire is at. As quickly as we can. So it looks like there is another sword over here. I'm going to grab that. 
Did he get them both? Wow, he's uh, a little efficient, isn't he? Okay, well, that works. We're using the super. I respect it. I honestly do. Okay, now we need to get back before all the enemies get over here quickly. Go, 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 go. There we go. That's what I like to see. Get that combination blow going. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. Get that lethal current. Hit him with that damage. Oh, that's a lot. Come on. Get him with the melee. Thank you. I don't think that counted towards the necklace scraps, but that's all right. So now there are multiple locations now that the nightmares can spawn from. So we now need to head on over to the other side. Luckily, it's not going to be too difficult to deal with, but we need to be fast. So let me do that. Grenade. There we go. I did get the necklace scraps that time. Okay, we got combination blow back to times one. Now they're over at the other spot. After I've cleared all of those out, you notice, though, our timer is pretty high at the moment, which is good. Uh, oh, shoot. They are booking it. No one is there stopping them. Oh, my goodness. They got there really fast. Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to make it in for sure. Yep. Sacrifice self. Okay. That is what we don't want. So now we got the other one. Let me hurry back over this way. This is, this is what you can't afford, and it's really going to screw you if you are on the final round so you need to be careful this is why i'm trying to conserve my uh super here is for that exact reason okay nightmare sojourner is done not too bad that's one tier done and i think is it after that one or the next one we get a treasure chest somewhere? There's two chests that you can open during the Ultra Sorrows. The first one is kind of eh, but the last one is the really important one. And this is also important for finishing the other weekly quest, which is Slow Wave Disruption. Complete waves of Ultra of Sorrow and Sorrow's Harbor. This is going to give you a Hymn of Desecration, which is important for the dungeon in Shadow Keep. So here we go. Let's do this thing. Get some damage in there. Hit him with the special damage. Okay, that's a lot of freaking enemies. Get him with the stasis. Perfect. Oh, Sankopation, you are wonderful. Let me hit you. There we go. Get that reservoir burst damage. I think with this one, I am going to hit it with my super because I can. Let me try to get you and then chain that lightning before it kills me. Okay, there is the next one. We're at times two here. If I can hit you, uh, I wanted to hit the thrall, but that didn't work out so well. Okay, there's a good hit. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, I'm trying to avoid the cursed thrall. Have the wizard spawned yet? Not quite. That's okay. Keep hitting them. There we go. Get that chain lightning. Oh, man, he sent me far. Not too much damage, please. Thank you. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. All right, get that timer reset. Watch out for the curse thralls. We got it. Okay, now it's time. It's wizard time. Here we go. So really quickly, I'm going to hit you. Hit with all that damage. Let's get that sword uh, going. One, two, three. Are they going to get... It looks like he's going to get the other one. I don't know if I'm going to make it over there in time. There are now three locations we got to deal with. So let's hit that. Watch out for these sword bearers. Okay, we're fine. One, two, three. And we should have enough that we can get to the other one in time. Why are the pikes here? Holy crap. Okay, just get the, sword, the shield down. Thank you. Be gone. All right, so they're all dead. Now, if Spitfire can deal with the rest of those, that would be great. I'm not going to wait for, wait around for him to do it, though, because we do need to get up here, and we need to get up here fast. Where is the sword bearer here? It's around here somewhere. I mean, he hasn't even killed it yet. Oh, my goodness. All right, come on, Spitfire. Let's do this. Thank you. Okay, there is that damage. I'm going to swipe away from that. Okay, it's oh, so he weakened it, but he wasn't able to actually kill it all the way. Okay, cool. That's all done. Here comes more of these nightmares. Let's hurry before it gets over there. Quickly, 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 quickly. I'm gonna try to get in one slam just for a little bit of damage. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, hold on. We've almost got him. We've almost got him. All right, almost. 
There's a little bit of damage. Oh, he's so weak. There we go. Got him. Whew. That was really, really close. All right, now we got Cursed Thrall here. More. I'm going to super this next guy. There. That's what I like to see. That is some good damage. All right, that should take care of him. I'm going to grab this heavy real quick. Get out of here. You just got to move around as fast as is humanly possible. All right, the next one is coming from this direction. Hit this Nightmare Wizard. There we go. Okay, that super will work, but it didn't quite do the job. That's enough. Grab those orbs really quickly. Last one is coming from that direction. And it's another wizard. They move the fastest, so we got to be super quick. Hold on a moment while I change some lightning. There we go. Done. All right, next tier. Tier six. So this is the last tier. I was wrong about it being seven. Sorry, it is six. Uh, okay, so this is a little bit more special. We actually have a boss to take care of, but we are going to still have to stop Nightmares from getting to a central location, and it will make sense once we get the boss's health down because the boss has health in phases here. So I'm going to be very gentle on the amount of actual heavy and whatnot I use on the boss itself. I'm going to use very tr uh, standard stuff. So there's three possible bosses that can spawn on any given week. Now the reward that you get from Ultra Sorrow at the end is actually on a daily rotation, not a weekly rotation, so keep that in mind. There are a few different kinds of weapons you can get. I believe it's a shotgun, a sniper, and a, and a uh, rocket launcher, that's what it is. Um, so let's just hit him with a little bit of damage. Once he gets down to a third though, we are gonna want to go get into position and quick because then the nightmares are gonna start spawning and they are gonna be knocking out our time limit very fast. So it looks like, okay, it's still just the three of us. No one else is really joining us at the moment. Okay, so, all right, there we go. Time, it's time now, it's time now. All right, so the nightmares are gonna spawn on either side, one on the right side and one on the left side. We need to take these guys out before they get all the way there. So I'm gonna focus on this ogre as much as I can by emptying my mag into you. That last shot didn't land, but that's okay, because I've almost got my grenade back, which is going to help me for this. There. Okay. That ogre is dead. Oh, crap. Come on, guys. You can't just not take care of them. Oh, that's not good. All right. One nightmare has been sacrificed. I think they killed the other one, which is good. Keep punching it. Don't let it... Okay. Whew. That was really, really close. We only have to do that one more time. So I'm going to actually save my super for that. Let's start killing a bunch of of these guys, getting that timer up as fast as we can. The more of these ads we clear out, the faster the timer goes up, which is good. We can use that to our advantage. There. That's what I like to see. Okay, we've already got him pretty weak. Make sure I'm reloaded on that. Okay, just wanted to be absolutely sure here. There we go. I'm going to try to get a combination blow going, although not on these guys because they will give me problems if I try to do that. Let's get on you. There are... That did not land. All right, we're at times two. Go, 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 go. Guys, go on the right side. Go on the right side. I am just going to try, if I can stop you for a moment, hit you with that super directly, so that should kill it outright. I'm not too worried about that. We have a fourth that just arrived, which is good. Hopefully that outright kills... I believe it did. Okay, we're good. So memory of Sayamota is complete. Now... Get all that damage in fast. I'm doing what I can here. Okay, it's dead. I think we just have the last one to take care of. We were able to isolate them that time. It worked out perfectly. Now we can kill the boss without worrying about anything else. All right, there we go. Yeah, use that blade barrage. Almost got him. And there we go. Holy crap, we almost died. Holy crap. My health was basically gone. Return to Eris Morning Sanctuary and report your findings on the Altars of Sorrow. Let's open this thing up. We're going to get a ton of Phantasmal Fragments, and it looks like today it is the Rocket Launcher, which is, I think, the second best. Uh, the shotgun's the best in terms of what you can get out of it. It's a kinetic weapon, and it's a slug shotgun, which those do very high damage as long as you land headshots, which is kind of the point of them. So I like it a little bit better than the rocket launcher, but the rocket launcher is decent. The sniper is kind of crap, though, because it is a rapid fire frame, and those tend to be really bad for anything but PvP. 
We can take a look at its perks at the very least. Cluster Bomb is not bad to have on a an aggressive frame. It's also got impact casing. So this is going to be like the highest possible direct impact damage you can get on a rocket launcher, which is good, which is really, really good, but it's not so much great for clearing out a lot of ads, which I would much rather use something like Sleepless or Two-Tailed Fox. Actually, is Sleepless? No, yeah, Sleepless is better for that kind of thing, and so is Two-Tailed Fox. All right, let's head on back to Sanctuary now that all that is done. I know this episode is a little bit long already, but we need to talk to Eris about this whole situation before we go any further. And also, that's all done. So yeah, we got we got a couple things to speak to her about. It's also only five nightmares away from finishing that destination threader. I think we may have also completed uh, the activities needed for another, for the essence of failure. So we'll have to go after those as well. But it looks like we're gonna have to head on in through the portal to speak to her. So let's do this. It actually went a little bit smoother than I was expecting. We only lost one nightmare pretty much the entire time, except for at the very beginning when that guy was soloing and I was first joining. So I don't really count that one because he was kind of floundering over there and I came in and rescued him. For the most part. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm better than him. I'm just going to say that he uh, was clearly struggling a lot more until he actually had help. All right. Please leave me alone. No, wait. Don't leave. I don't... I need you. Eris, we found something that we believe should be yours. It's Sai's necklace. I'd recognize her craftsmanship anywhere. She's the one that taught me how to use a knife to carve beads. Perhaps I will take up carving again. Thank you. Now, really quickly, I'm going to actually listen to some more because she always has a little bit of extra dialogue every single time you finish one of these. When she joined the fire team, Sai asked for only one thing. To be avenged. I wasn't able to do that for her, but you did. When you slew Omnigal, Sai, the real Sai, not this phantom, was at peace. Sai spoke little, except when giving toasts. Then none could silence her. Just a little bit of, more of exposition about her fire team members. And you notice now there are no longer five nightmares floating above, but there were in fact four. One of them has gone away since. So the artifact is there, and I do believe the necklace gets placed somewhere. I think it's this one right here. As we continue to get more artifacts, more is going to be done. But now we can open up this chest, and with it, we get ourselves a new piece of weaponry. Erisborn believes the hive's wicked science can be turned against them. Help her investigate the circle of bones beneath the moon. That is something that we're going to need to work on. But really quickly, before I end this episode, I need to return to Eris one more time, because this actually didn't complete. Only the memory of Saimota part completed because that is actually a weekly quest now the thing is is one thing that Bungie has done that is really nice ever since the start of Shadowkeep this was not true with Forsaken obviously because of the whole Ascendant challenge thing and the weekly curse cycle but in Shadowkeep all of these quests that were available to us on a weekly basis were made it's been made since uh since been made possible for you to just do it all at once. You can basically just do it step by step. You don't have to wait week by week. And that all kind of begins with Shadow Keep, which is something I really appreciate. Bungie actually was forward thinking enough to make all of these quests just kind of combine into one big quest that players can pick up on later. Truth in action. All right, let's talk to her. So, whispers in the dark. Sinister transmissions seep out from our unknown artifact. Their intentions are anything but pure. Place your eyes upon them. Only if you seek to find truth among the lies, press accept to receive a mysterious I transmission. Are afraid. I can smell it. The remains of Crota's court, those who escaped your strength and my vengeance, 
have sequestered themselves below the surface. Their chants echo across the ascendant plain and beyond it to the realm from which the pyramids fly. You must descend into the moon's depths. Ensure that such an alliance never comes to pass. And this is the beginning for the dungeon here known as Pit of Heresy. You need to do a little bit of Altar of Sorrow to get it unlocked, but once you do, it is now available to you, and this is something we are going to be doing a little bit later on in the... Uh, in the Let's Play, it's going to be a tough one. I'm a little bit nervous about it because of the way I'm going to have to do it. I am basically going to be committing myself to doing... I mean, well, you already saw it with the Shattered Throne, but I am committing myself to essentially do every dungeon in the game solo. There are some that are easier than others, and uh, Pit of Heresy is not too bad. Shattered Throne's not too bad. But it's the future ones that worry me, and I might even have to end up chickening out on that in the future. We will certainly see. But I'm going to turn all of these in. We also got an Essence Agreed out of that. This one is for Machine Gun Kills. I'm going to probably have to work on that as well. We got things to go after, though, guys. We have a lot of things to go after. We got the Symphony of Death quest to start working on. Eris Morn believes the Hive's Wicked Science can be turned against them. Help her investigate. Yeah, we got, we got this. We got this, which is good. We also have the Essence of Vanity, the Essence of Failure, and the Essence of Brutality. We need to go after the Captive Cord, Horned Wreath, and Necromantic Strand, as well as the Ethereal Charms. These are all things that I'm going to be going after in the next episode, because that is it for this one. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.